Today's video is going to be a hot one because we're going to talk about spicy foods. Spicy food is a double-edged sword. It tastes amazing going in, but it hurts and burns coming out. The good news is there's ways to survive spicy food, even if you have a really low tolerance. I'm Nurse Wong, and this is my Talks. Let's lay out our strategies for this battle in three sections before, during, and after spicy foods. Before spicy foods. The key word is protect. The last thing you want to do is eat spicy food on an empty stomach. So before eating spicy foods, shield your stomach with these foods. Whole grains and starchy foods with high soluble fiber. Fish and lean meats low in fat. Vegetables and beans with low acidity. These foods protect your stomach lining so the spicy foods would not be as harsh later on. Avoid stimulus like coffee and tea. You don't want to make your stomach even more sensitive. Also, consider taking a soluble fiber supplement such as psyllium husk. If you want double protection, I'll leave a link in the description below for my favorite fiber supplements during spicy foods. Here we go! We are finally face to face with spicy foods. There are three ways to battle it. Break it down, absorb it, or neutralize it. Number one, break it down. The compound that creates the heat in spicy food is called capsaicin. Capsaicin can be bonded with the casein protein found in dairy products, as well as the complex carbon molecules found in most sugars. So your weapons here would be dairy products and sugars. Eating or drinking dairy products such as milk and yogurt can dissolve the spiciness break it down and wash it away. It works the way soap washes away grease. When choosing your dairy products, keep in mind that whole fat works better than fat-free. Sugar cubes or honey can also absorb the spiciness in your mouth and wipe away the burn. You could add sugar to your drink or honey to your yogurt. I personally drink a glass of milk with honey while eating spicy foods. On the other hand, ice cream seems to be the best of both worlds because it's a combination of dairy and sugar. Ice cream is very effective in fighting spiciness. The coldness of ice cream also brings temporary relief. However, eating too much ice cream can upset your stomach. So be sure to eat in moderation. Number two, absorb it. There's no fancy chemistry here. Carbs like bread, rice, and noodles work like sponges that soak up the oily capsaicin in your mouth while the sugar helps neutralize it. These starchy foods can also create a barrier between your mouth and capsaicin, helping to minimize that burning sensation. Be sure to eat a substantial amount of them. The starch and the soluble fiber will also form your stool into a smooth sausage poop making it easier to pass the next day. Watch our other video to learn how you can create the perfect poop. But Tuck's pro tip, if you're eating foods with spicy oil, use a piece of bread to absorb the oil before eating it, so it'll be less spicy and greasy. Number three, neutralize it. Capsation is an alkaline oil, so acidic foods and drinks can neutralize it. To make it more effective, consider having tomatoes and sugary citrus drinks, like lemonade with honey. Fun fact, in China, chill plum juice is one of the most popular drinks that goes well with the spicy hot pot meal. Plum juice is acidic in nature, and the sugar also helps ease the pain. Among these three strategies, whole milk works the best. Now, let's talk about things that don't work. Water. Water's not a bad idea, as you can drink a lot of it and flush your system. It immediately soothes the irritation 
but that's only temporary since capsaicin doesn't dissolve in water. Drinking water while eating spicy food is like mixing oil and water. It just doesn't work. In fact, water can actually spread the spiciness around your mouth, making things even worse. Instead of water, stay hydrated with some of the drinks we've already mentioned before, like whole milk and juice with honey. Alcohol. Let me make it clear, I do not recommend alcohol. It's true that capsaicin oil can dissolve in alcohol, but your typical alcoholic beverage doesn't have a high enough concentration of alcohol to work effectively. According to Food Network, you might have to down five shots of tequila to dissolve half an ounce of capsaicin. Shots between bites will make you forget what you just ate. Plus, alcohol dehydrates you and irritates your stomach. Your stomach is already growing through a lot, so be smart and drink responsibly. Pro spicy foods, you can probably expect that. It's gonna hurt coming out since your poop will be laced with all those spicy particles. At this point, it is what it is. You have to minimize the burn as much as you can. Before you sit on the toilet, slather a heavy layer of Vaseline around your anus to create a barrier between your poop and your delicate skin. Try not to push, relax, and breathe slowly. Once you're done, dampen your toilet paper, put some lotion on it, and wipe your body. Don't wipe too much, as rubbing your body repetitively will irritate it even more. You can also use a bidet to rinse the area and take a shower if you want to clean more thoroughly. After that, make sure you drink enough water to rehydrate and eat some bananas or soluble fiber foods to calm your system. Try some butt creams if your skin is irritated. Check out our butt cream video for more information. Consult with the medical professional if your symptoms don't improve. The next time you plan to eat spicy foods, try out our tips and let us know if they're helpful. Keep in mind that spicy foods have potent irritants to your stomach and butt teeth. It's best to avoid them completely, but I don't blame you for eating them since they are irresistibly delicious. Just know what goes in must come out. So be sure to practice these tips we've mentioned today. If you like our video, press the like button below. Comment on what you would like to learn about next. For more tips and tricks from Butt Talks, subscribe to our channel. Have a great poop day!